Flying Dragons. I'm Mr. Slardo, and this is Flame Alphonse on the top shelf where they hide the cookies. Hey, Alphonse. Hey, Pirate Beer. We're glad you all made it on the show. And we want to welcome you to the News of Camelot. Today's Wednesday, May 10th, 2023, and it says lightning here. Lightning. We know you guys have all seen a little bit of lightning in your day. Let's learn a little bit more about lightning dragons, but before we get going on that, let's hear what Michaela has to say. Take it away, Michaela. Neat stuff. Good job, Michaela. We're so glad you led us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Moment of Silence. Alphonse, the sun is going to rise today at 6.01. Wow, that is close to 6. Neat stuff. Pirate Pierre, the sun is going to sit, set at 8.10. Oh, it's May 10. Set at 8.10. That's kind of neat. All right, Dragon. So yesterday, yesterday it was a little rainy. And if you walked outside at just the right time, you might have seen some lightning. Maybe even heard a little rumble of thunder. It's kind of interesting because the day before that, it was really pleasant outside. And it kind of came out of nowhere. And then it went away very quickly. And Pirate Pierre and I were talking about where lightning comes from. And, you know, there's this really neat thing where... there. Look at this, Dragons. You can see they have these special maps. This is from earlier this morning where lightning is striking in the area or in the United States. And in this map, this was the lightning from earlier this morning. And you can see that we are in Washington, D.C., and there wasn't any lightning necessarily. But you might say, like, well, where did that come from? Where did lightning come from? Well, this is the neat connection. Watch this. Ready, Flame? This week is Leadership Week for Positivity Project. And that makes sense. We're all trying to be better leaders. There is this neat word called a leader... L-E-A-D-E-R, that helps create lightning, right? So what causes lightning? Well, there are these negative charges that are called electrons. And electrons and those negative charges have to connect to positive charges. Did you know that? Did you know that, Alphonse? Positive and negative come together. And those attractions help start the process of lightning. Electrons begin, they kind of go all over the place and go down towards something called a stepped leader. See this picture? How it's sort of negative in the clouds and kind of positive on the ground. And as the leader nears the ground, it draws the positive charge up. Isn't that cool? So a good leader draws the positive charge up. That's what good leaders do. They draw things toward them. As the leader and the streamer merge, a powerful electrical current flows. And the return strike is what we see, right? And this can happen quite a lot. There's a lot of times this could happen. So if the charge is really electric, you might see a lot of lightning all at once. But if it's sort of, you know, it happens every now and then, you might see a bolt of lightning. And that's because the charges hit at just the right point. You've seen a lot of lightning in your time, sailing the seas, right, Pirate Pierre? And you see it because you're around outside so much. In fact, you've certainly seen it. Was Well, does lightning? I guess we'll get to that in Wednesday Wondering. We'll figure that out at Wednesday Wondering Dragons. But be on the lookout. Lightning is not necessarily our friend, but it can be beautiful to see. Ta -da -da! It's time for the birthday box. Now, if you watch a really good strike of lightning, it's, it's really fun, like yesterday, right? No, so it doesn't look like there's a lot of lightning around us today. You know what else is not around us today are the birthdays for the kids. But don't worry, Alphonse. We have a very special birthday today that we have to get to. Miss Doll! Happy birthday to Miss Doll. She is exceptionally good at everything she does. Miss Doll, happy birthday to you. So Wednesday Wondering, ready? Pirate Pierre, Wednesday Wondering, do we see lightning? 
before we hear thunder? Or do we hear thunder before we see lightning? That's the big quiz for the day. So the teachers know, do we see lightning before we hear thunder? Or do we hear thunder before we see lightning? What would travel faster? We already know about these electrical charges, and that's kind of fun, but let's see if you know the answer. If the teachers can help facilitate that, that would be super. So, on behalf of Blaine, on behalf of Alphonse, on behalf of Pirate Pierre, I'm Mr. Sarno. Enjoy your beautiful lightning-free day today, dragons. See the goodness, be the goodness, 